All right, guys, how's it going? It's Marvelo Plays here, and today we have the freaking Cosmic Ghost Rider. Look at this guy. This is Diesel. Straight up Diesel. <sighs> I've had this guy for... Um, a little bit now, I believe uh, the video I did last was the Ghost Rider one when I was talking about I got him in. So not too much of a long time with this guy. So I figured I experienced him with all of you. <laughs> like I just I didn't think Marvel Legends would pop this guy out. I really didn't. But I'm glad they did. Like this is just this is just amazing. Like, sometimes I'm never speechless on a Marvel Legend, but with this, I'm just like, wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, first things first, before we get too far ahead, we're going to knock out the articulation and, you know, the detail and la 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 la, all that stuff. Alright, so, Cosmic Ghost Rider. You know, you have your Marvel Legends double jointed elbows, as always welcome, both sides, has that wrist twist, wrist, mm, oof, wrist can come up and go down, I don't know why it's so tough to make him go up, you know, I'll, I'll put that in hot water later, uh, double jointed knees, has a great angle pivot, uh, has a diaphragm, but it works really well, kind of glad that they didn't add that app crunch, like, right there, because diaphragm, I will admit, it, 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 it it, it, yeah, <laughs> I'm stuttering. It's a very welcome addition. I think it just works for some figures, and some figures I don't think it, it can for app crunch. But yeah, diaphragm, it works better for this. Now with his head, you have to pop off his uh, helmet here. You can go left, right. Can't really look up. Can't can kind of look down. Uh, we take off his head right here for a quick second. Uh, mind you, it's a little tough. Because the peg is actually really long. Like, I saw a review when someone mentioned how long the peg was. Oof. My gosh. It <laughs> is a challenge to get this head off, guys. Like, seriously. Oh my god. Oof. Well, yeah, there's that neck peg. Freaking long. Here's the uh, flame neck piece. Let's put that right back where it was. Okay, look uh, good, nice. But yeah, as you can see, the peg doesn't have um, articulation in it, which is fine because like he has a, he has a dome on anyway, so you know we really can't do too much with that. I mean, yeah, you gotta take the, the dome off to like you know pose the skull around you know left or right or whatever you're trying to do, but you know it's whatever. Maybe next time when they do this again, which I think they will, they'll find a different uh, mechanism for that. Ooh, let's, ooh, easy, easy to put back on, hard to take off. All right, so his helmet just goes right back on too. Really cool. All right, so let's get into detail. Wow, <laughs> and there's a lot to talk about. All the way down from the legs, all the way up to the torso. All up to the uh, shoulder pads. Now right, let's get a closer look at this. All right. So they used a very soft plastic for this for the shoulders, which I can appreciate. They doing that. For, they do them doing that. Uh, you can see these little blue and red little uh, splotches of paint on there. Now I don't believe that's a um, a deep a paint defect. I believe that's how he legitimately looks in the comics. <laughs> Mind you. I haven't read the Cosmic, Cosmic Ghost Rider run that much, so I really haven't paid attention to the little details. Of it. But if these are, then yeah, th th this is cool. This is really cool. I love what they did with the Punisher skull. By the way, this is this isn't Johnny Blaze. This is Frank Castle as um, Ghost Rider, which I really like. That I, I, th th that concept is just freaking cool. You can see a little detailing right here on the back. A closer look at that, yeah. And like it's just like it's so it's sculpted so well. Like 
You can see a little valve damage in the shoulder pads. You can feel the textures on the uh, torso. And it's just everything sculpted so well on this. Like, for a $50 figure, it's, it's, it's worth your money, people. It's worth your money. Like, the skull is done really good. The, 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 art, the articulation. The articulation is done really good. It's just, there's so much to explore on this guy. Man, I'm just, just blown away with this. The paints are amazing. The, just, I'm finding a lot more on, on this guy. And, like, the treads on the, on the boots, whatever. They're, they're cool. It's, it's a cool figure. Pick this guy up. Like, I'm straight up telling you guys, pick this guy up. This is amazing. Whew. Okay, I got that out of my system. It's been like five minutes. Look at that. I can, I can, I can tell time a little bit better now, guys. <laughs> so, getting to the uh, accessories. You come through these really badass... Um, ew, look at that. I got a cat here. Cats were up here earlier. Ugh, look at that. Gross. Gross. <laughs> so, he comes with these two um, blasters. And they're really done well, too. You have They have a little detail on them. They have a little bit of wow they have they have a little like bow damage on them too yeah like right there and a few other places like these are these are great he has the ghost rider whip chain again love they deal with the uh yellow and orange and not sure of red all right and now it's time for the cosmic hell cycle i believe that's what it's called like the orb here it can come off and you, can, you know assemble it i find that really cool like honestly i'm gonna get one of those little blue party lights that you know that flicker on off and put it in there uh i actually might up the, uh, upload that to my instagram when i do it so you know check me out at marvel plays you know on instagram you should find me on there pretty easy and the little stand that comes on you it's, it's posable you can pose this thing like really well uh, the little flame effect right here comes off. You got twisted all the way off, so you know, take my word for that, you guys. But yeah, this thing is just so well done. Like he sits on it kind of funny, like the like the uh, regular Ghost Rider. But again, if you pose it right, you know, you get your right angles in, it won't matter. Like it won't matter at all. He comes with little two little holsters for his guns. Well, they fit in there pretty well. Let me see. I believe this one went in here. And uh, this one went in her. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Hold on. No, no, no that's an experiment for later. But yeah. Just overall a great piece to have in your collection. Like I am going to do a lot of posing with this guy. Like on my Instagram, I often do a lot of uh, action figure photography. Tons of fun. I recommend you guys give it a chance, give it, give it a shot. Oh wow! <laughs> I know he looks kind of goofy this way right now, but you know I'm just giving you guys an example of how he looks. So yeah, I lost you guys for a second. <laughs> I had to fix the camera. So yeah, he's just looking pretty good. It could be a wee bit better, but I lost you guys again. I don't reason why I'm keeping keeping that in because your boy is lazy. <laughs> so yeah, Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider, worth your money every every buck. Like there aren't that many uh, paint problems on the on the cycle or the figure itself. Like everything is really well done, really well done. Oh, let me get him off there for a second. <laughs> I mean, this guy. I'm not sure what else I can say. Like, let's see how he poses right quick. Let's let's do a, like a kicking pose or something. Get him into kicking pose. Kicking pose. Let's get him. See how he looks. 
Well, I never, I never had a chance to try balancing this guy. Oh, wow. Look at that. He sits up. He sits up pretty well. Like, there's no sticky tack or anything on this guy. Like, check it out. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, yeah. Tons of fun. Uh, do I have any gripes with it? Mm, no. Honestly, I, I have no complaints about this guy. Nothing, nothing really. Like, yeah, he says funny on the bike, but, like, that's every Marvel Legends. I, I just, I just assume, like, it, like, honestly, at that point, you're just really, you know, messing with your camera to make it look good. And, like, that's not hard to do because, you know, you can't see their bottom half. <sighs> Jeez. I just hope they make a um, Punisher Thanos to, to, you know, go along with this really well. Or baby Thanos, like they did in the comics. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> it seems like everybody's on a whole baby trend, like with Baby Yoda now, and now the baby from Ice Age apparently is gaining traction. Like, someone let me know what what that is. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get back on topic. So now, you guys, we're doing some scaling, and then um, my final thoughts, and we'll uh, continue on from there. All right. Stay tuned, my, my dudes. Okay, guys, here's Cosmic Ghost Rider next to a Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider and Frank Castle. Here's Ghost Rider next to a Marvel 80th Anniversary Captain America and 80th Anniversary Hulk. Here's Cosmic Ghost Rider next to a Thousand Toys Hellboy and an SH figure art shrunk. Here's Cosmic Ghost Rider next to a Boom Boom and Iceman. And last but not least, here's Sam Wilson, Captain America, and Agent Venom. So yeah, Frank is pretty badass. Like, I really have nothing negative to say about this guy. I mean... Obviously, with any Marvel Legend, he could come with a little bit more, but, you know, you get what you get. And honestly, you get a great figure out of it. Like, he poses well, he stands up well, and uh, <laughs> the Cosmic Hell Cycle is just... <sighs> diesel. You'll hear Diesel a lot in a lot of these videos, man. Shouts out to Hernandez. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely pick this guy up. Holds him around, do a lot with him. Like, I'm honestly gonna do some outside shots. And uh, pretty soon, me and my uh, beloved are working on dioramas soon. So, stay tuned for that. So, those are my final thoughts. This guy gets a nine out of 10. Like, in order to get a 10, you, you have to be like, you have to hit everything for me, like, a lot. I don't think he was lacking was just butterfly joints, but maybe they couldn't do that. Maybe the engineering just wasn't there for that, but, you know, whatever. Still a great figure. Pick him up. Uh, again, thanks for um, tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Be cool. See you later.